Today, I'm going to be sharing with you the top 10 best sounding cars in Driving Empire. Now, Driving Empire is renowned for its amazing car sounds, and I'm going to be showing you what I think are the top 10. Now, before we get into this, I just want to say that this is very, very, very subjective, subjective. So it's a sort of opinion based thing. It's not really a solid top 10. Let me know what your top 10 are in the comments. Also, guys, we are nearing very, very, very close to 50k. So please subscribe for more content like this i also want to hit 100k by the end of the year so um yeah please hello hello people welcome back to driving empire i've not made a de video in so long and um uh, okay hello my friend japanese so all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to de i know i haven't made a video on this in ages um that's kind of my fault. But essentially today, I am going to be showing you the top 10 best sounding cars in Driving Empire. Now, if you do buy cars in this game for the sound... Uh, hello, my friend. Hello. Yes. Uh, uh, hi. ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. So if you do buy cars for the sound, uh, that's fair enough. A lot of people do buy cars for the sound in this game, as opposed to for the speed. That made no sense in English, but we will continue. Now, before I get into this list, I do just want to say we are nearing closer, very close, actually, to 50k. So please subscribe. I probably said that in the intro. Uh, yeah, yeah, this guy. <laughs> uh, let's go into the dealership. In fact, no, I haven't, I haven't finished filming the intro. Let's go back out the dealership. Now, I just want to say before I start this list that everything, every single car in this list is um, personal opinion type thing. I will tell you that on this list, there are a fair few V8s. There's a couple V12s and a flat six, actually. You can probably guess what car that is. Please, can you play CDC? I haven't made a DE video in like 10 million years. What do you mean play CDC? Okay, we're, we're just going to go to number 10. I just want to point out a lot of these cars are relatively cheap. But some of them aren't. And one of them, you actually just can't get. So the cars on this list are basically from anything. But most of them, in fact, all of them are from the shop. Let's kick off with number 10. So at number 10, I have put... Where the hell is it? The Chevrolet Camaro ZL... Something. It's a Camaro, right? It's an off-brand Camaro. That is something to keep in mind. So if we go and drive this, essentially, I'm going to be doing a sound test of each. And I'm also going to be testing their speeds. Oh, that sounded good. So I'm going to be letting you guys hear this thing. Because that's kind of the point of this video. Yes, lovely. Now, I'm very biased because I quite like V8. Oh my god, speaking of V8. What the hell is this? <laughs> oh my days. I was just talking about V8s. There's so three V8s. This one looks normal. And then that one's a little bit off the top. He's gone. And then, and then, and then. Wait, he just, just disappeared. This guy's a magician. Where'd he... Where'd he go? <laughs> right, so, um, that is the sound of Zicamero. Oh, we started our cars at the same time. And now the reason this car is at number 10 is because it isn't, it doesn't sound amazing on the road. It has an amazing start up. If I go into manual mode. It does sound pretty good. And keep in mind, this car is actually like really cheap. It's like 50 grand. So that is, uh, Mr. Mr. Oh, ow, that actually hurt my ears. That is number 10. We have the Camaro. So now I'm going to be going on to number 9. Now, the fact that I put this at number 10, you could probably guess what's at number 9 if you're a big fan of American cars. Ladies and gentlemen, for number 9, I have put... Where is it? Where is it? Where... You know what? Why am I even here? I can literally just find it in my... Okay, you know what? Two. Here we are ladies and gentlemen, this is number 9, this is a Shelby GT500, very very cool, this one we're getting a little bit more expensive, we're into the 100 grand region here, we've got opening doors in this, you'd love to see it, let's just go ahead and drive it, oh yes it works. It comes with a supercharger, so this is the uh, GT500, it is very cool, it looks amazing as well. We also do some pretty cool uh, donuts, drifts in this thing. Pretty cool, pretty, pretty cool. Again, interior, the standard. We've got working speedo, turning steering wheel, lots of carbon fiber and Alcantara. And like I said earlier, I am quite biased to V8s. But if you have a better car which you put in this position and any of these positions, do leave it in the comments below. Next up, I have put... Now, I actually d don't know what it's called in this game. So I'm, I actually have to scroll through and find it. Six and a half. Okay, where is it? Where I I've scrolled through like three times and I can't see... There's two cars with this sound 
and I haven't found either of them. We do not care. Here we go. The 2004 Glacium Stradale. This is a MC12, Maserati MC12. There is a race version and there is a street version. This is the street version. They have the same sound. I just haven't been able to find the street ver uh, the, the track version. So let's hop in here. Do don't steal it. Don't Let steal it. Very nice, very, very nice. Now this car, in terms of perform in terms of its performance, is actually really good. I also really like the sort of whine, the sound that it gives. Very cool. Let me know what you guys think. Now if we just go into manual mode. Does sound very nice. Now, uh, next up we have number seven. Now for number seven, um I have four cars <laughs> four cars because they all sound very similar but they all sound great in their different way i'm gonna go through each and every one of them very quickly but trust me you will understand why now like i said earlier i am very uh biased to v8 now there's a brand that's still in driving empire that is very renowned for its v8 uh motors Big up Ziblinga. So the four cars I have uh, f in place for number seven are the AMG GT Black Series, this Ziblingo Shadow Trove, the old SL63, the C63 Black Series. All right, GT Black Series. That timed so perfectly, but I'm, I'm going to do it again because it, uh, it got disturbed. Very nice, very, very nice. In terms of driving, it is very, um, sounds very good, especially on the downshifts. That McLaren cannot drive. Alright, so that was the GT Black Series. Next up, we have the old SL63. Let me just get the thing up. Very nice. Now, listen to that idle. You could probably tell why I am now, uh, biased to V8. Next up, we have the C63 Black Series. This joint here. Oh, the V8. This is all number seven, by the way. Oh, yeah, that sounds amazing. I hit a wall. Next up, we have number six. Now, number six is a completely different car to uh, the V8. We're now uh, kicking off with a V12. About time. But we have now the Lamborghini Revelta. So this is the Lamborghini Revelta. You'd love to see it. It looks very nice in the matte grey with the red. Let's just hear this thing then. Listen to that idol as well. That idol is just amazing. <laughs> Next up, we have a car. And I, I don't know what it's called. A Cypher WY45. I haven't got a clue what car this is, but let's hear it. Does sound very nice. Shut your s Now, I'm going to be completely real with you. If you guys know what car this is in real life, please let me know, because I don't know. So that is uh, the car at number five. We're past halfway through this list. Now, the next car I've put on this list, I've put on this list because it sounds good. Although you can't actually get this car anymore. So if you do have it, uh, well, lucky you. So the next car on this list is the Koenigsegg Jesko. This thing here, very nice. I'm going to play the start up later, but I mean, please shush. This car has a convertible uh, rooftop, as in like you can take the hard top off. And this car is the bee's knees in terms of performance. Can you pretty cool drifts? 
You'd love to see it. So let me know what you think of this car. I love it. This is actually the car I use most often. So that is the Jesco attack. That is number four. Ladies and gentlemen, we are into the top three. Now, I can't stress enough. This list is very, very subjective. It's very personal opinion based. If you have a better sounding car, uh, leave it in the comments below and I'll sort of check it out. Well, I did mention at the start of the video that there is going to be a flat six in here. And ladies and gentlemen, that is this car. We have a 992 GT3 RS. This thing here with the big wing. Now, I've got a pretty cool color scheme going on here with the... Uh, uh, gray looking very nice this car is amazing in terms of looks <laughs> now you're probably sitting there thinking that startup was shambolic but it's when you oh oh wait for it wait for it oh listen to that Now, this car has to be one of the best sounding cars for its price. I mean, this car is just under, I think, about three, four hundred thousand. It's also very fast in terms of handling. This is the best budget car, I believe. Brakes on this are also insane. I mean, have a look at that. Personally, this is one of my most favorite uh, sounding cars. It's very nice, very lovely. So that was uh, Numero Tres. That was number three. Now we're into the top two. Now, I want you guys to guess what the top two are. You can probably guess what they are. I'll give you a clue. One's a V12, and I believe one is a V8. I might be wrong. But I know that the next one is a V12. Now, we're talking the Pagani Huayra R. This thing right here, very nice, very, very nice, very track-focused. <laughs> That is very loud. Okay, volume's coming down. You know, I look like one of those, um, missile trucks. I mean, the interior sound is just a die for. I mean, listen to that. Now, uh, I did forget to mention one thing. This car, in terms of its performance, this car is just off the route. I'm, I'm off the scale. I mean, look at this thing. zero to 200 in like one second that is just insane acceleration this car has to be one of the best accelerating cars in the game but it's also not the cheapest car in the game this car is setting you back well over a couple mil check this out gc3 rs is 389 that's pretty darn good and then the huayra r is a bit more expensive it's seven and a half million this thing is not cheap now ladies and gentlemen now 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 we are on two the big one. The big number one. Let me know what you think it is in the comments. If I were to take a guess on the top of my head, I think it's a V8. But I'm not 110% sure about that. But let me know what you think it is. Ladies and gentlemen, we had one licensed car with the Pagani Huayra R. How about another? And you're probably guessing, you're probably trying to think what car it is. It's actually the one just above my head. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the Gumper Apollo Enraged. This car is 3.2 million and it looks utterly amazing. Wait till you hear this thing. Now, I believe that the normal version, so this is the track version, and the normal version is over here. I believe they have the same sound, but slightly different. All right, are you ready to hear this thing, ladies and gentlemen? Subscribe if you want to hear this thing. Have you subscribed? Please. Do me a favor. Shut the f*** up. Okay, you know what? Let's just hear it. That was very quiet. I thought it would be a lot louder. Oh, but the idol, the idol, listen to the idol, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, that is one of the best idols I've ever heard. We've got, uh, what are these called? Butterf- No, they're not butterfly doors. They're, uh, uh what are they called? No, they're not scissor. They're not butterfly. They're the Tesla doors. Alright, so let's hear this thing. I mean, just listen to that grumble, ladies and gentlemen. The downshift, the downshift. <laughs> oh my days. In terms of performance, this car isn't amazing, but honestly, the sound just makes up for it. Listen to the grumble. Oh. Oh. Oh my goodness. There's no sort of like difference between the interior sound, but we've got the German flag everywhere. The German flag. German sausage. I just can't get over the sound of this car. It's very much a personal opinion thing, but let me know what your top 10 would be in the comments below. Thank you very much. Also, subscribe 50k. I want 100k by the end of the year. Bye.